I'm John Letario. I'm the Division Chief in Pediatric Hematology Oncology at Rainbow Babies and Children's. When I talk about chemo prevention, uh, most often, even amongst my colleagues in our profession, certainly in pediatrics, it's not a term that people understand or are very familiar with. Um, the example that I typically use is uh, the experience and the success that this has had, uh, this approach has had in uh, cardiovascular science. So um, many people are familiar with the use of drugs to lower cholesterol, lower blood pressure, and over time, those approaches have had a huge impact on death and suffering due to cardiovascular disease. Those medications are used to prevent illness, to prevent disease. So that concept is called chemo prevention. So our own effort here is to partner with uh, our colleagues in the chemistry department and to identify potential sources of molecules that may be safe and palatable and that may have activities that would predict they'd be useful as preventives. Um, so we've looked actually to the medicinal chemistry literature, which is uh, an incredibly um, deep resource, uh, often from many of the Asian countries, where the use of extracts from a variety of plants have been helpful or beneficial in uh, settings like chronic wound healing uh, and inflammatory disorders. And we've identified a few plants that we think may have valuable ingredients, and then with our chemistry uh, colleagues have isolated or purified uh, active ingredients, if you will, from those plant extracts, those crude plant extracts. And a couple of sources that we've been utilizing here that we think are quite interesting include uh, the roots of germinating zucchini seeds which uh, have a high concentration of a molecule called brinolic acid and the roots of another plant which is known as the thunder of god vine uh, and there's a molecule called celastrol which is abundant in the root of that plant as well and in our laboratory we're looking at how those uh, molecules when they're for example added to the diet of uh, a mouse model of colon cancer how those uh, dietary supplements of those molecules may actually prevent uh, the development of cancer uh, or symptoms of cancer in our mouse models. And hopefully those will be predictive of the potential utility of these natural products as a chemo-preventive strategy in patients.